During the tail end of the 1950s and into the 60s, Naperville Little League player John C. Lipke Jr. made quite a name for himself. Multiple all-star nods and a championship will do that. Outgoing and candid, Lipke Jr. graduated from Naperville Central High School in 1966. A year later, he was drafted to military service. Six months after that, he was assigned to the U.S. Army amidst the Vietnam War. Just a few months into his service, Lipke Jr. was killed during a search and destroy mission. He was 20 years old, only eight years removed from his days in Little League, ever since his former team has been named in his honor. It kind of ties it all together, just, um, I guess, sort of the, the Lipke tradition. We've all played Naperville League, even my cousins, although they have different last names, they played. It's a tradition that continues today. Lipke Jr.'s great nephew, Austin Lipke, also plays Little League Baseball. I just like it, it's fun and it's nice to be playing knowing that my uncle and everybody used to play all these years ago. Meanwhile, this season, the John C. Lipke Jr. team got all the way to the Majors Division title game. As far as records show, that hasn't happened since the team's name change. You know, we got to actually meet some of the guys and talk to the team. They're all just a good group of guys, real respectful and just having someone like play that well and represent our family was a big deal. But before that game, Austin, great nephew of the team's namesake, came from his game in another part of town to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Let's welcome Austin Lipke. He already loved baseball. He's been playing for years already, but uh, I was proud. And he, he did such a good job. And uh, I don't know, it's, it was kind of just, uh, you're kind of taken back. The Lipke team won 11-7 for the city championship. And next year, Austin's brother, Dylan, will start his Little League journey. Nice. As if you'd expect anything less from this family with more than 50 years in the game. Reporting from the beach field, Justin Zipser, Naperville News 17.